Hi, I need you to babysit. Letitia had a family emergency and I have to marry Sonny today. Yep. Um, okay, what, uh, why wouldn't you want your kids at the wedding? You're remarrying their father. I think they'd be a little bit I'm marrying their father to keep him out of prison, okay? And I don't want the boys to get the wrong idea. This is not a marriage about love. It's strictly a legal maneuver, that's all. Then why do you seem so nervous? I'm not. Not in that soon-to-be bride kind of way. Mm. Could have fooled me. Look, Sonny and I have this history. We break up, we get back together. I don't want Michael and Morgan thinking that this is what that's about. That you're getting married for real. Yes, and they're not the only ones, okay? My mother. My mother will be all over this. She's going to make tons of assumptions and she's going to give me those looks. That's why I can't ask her to watch Michael and Morgan because the three of them will get together and they'll come up with all kinds of crazy ideas. Okay, well, what, what about Sonny's bodyguards? Michael has Max and Milo wrapped around his finger. That's why I need you to babysit. Can you please Yeah, babysit? no, no, I, I, can, I can babysit them. But you said that this is just a legal maneuver to keep Sonny out of jail. Right? So it's only yes. temporary. Right. Then what you're doing isn't that hard to understand. Except the person I need to understand, Jax, I can't get in touch with him to explain it. Why don't you just call him? Because he went to rescue his brother in some godforsaken corner of the world where they don't even have satellite phones. Okay. Well, Jax is a, he's a reasonable guy, I'm sure, even if you can't get in touch with him. We're engaged to be married, Lulu. We've had to postpone the wedding twice. When he finds out about this, he may not stick around long enough for me to explain it. All right. Okay. No offense, but if... if uh, if Jax doesn't give you a chance to explain your side of the story, then he doesn't love you very much. You don't understand. Sonny is a very strong man, okay? He thinks I belong with him. He's been trying to break me and Jax up for months. Well, then if Jax was really worried, he could just call. Jax isn't the problem, Lulu. It's Sonny, okay? We have spent years in this push-pull, love-hate, wild, tumultuous, intense relationship. We have saved each other. We have practically died for each it other. It still and gets you. <sighs> Always had a hard time resisting Sonny. I mean, the first time we got married, it was for the same reason. He was in legal trouble, and I was the potential witness. And then, then that's when you guys fell in love? No. A little more complicated than that. I knew I loved Sonny, but I didn't know that he loved me. And then he got shot and almost died, and he told someone to tell me that he loved me. I mean, Sonny and I are never simple and we are always complicated. He would do something to drive me crazy and vice versa. Things would get ugly. But we always loved each other. Okay, wait a second. If you guys have this magnetic attraction and he still gets to you after all these years, then why don't you just admit that you guys belong here? Because I can't live with Sonny. We bring out the worst in each other. Really? Not That's not what I've seen because I think you guys actually work really well together. Sonny has these codes. That he lives by, okay? These rules, and I don't do so well with rules. Yeah, I can relate to that. No, it's true. I would walk outside of the rules, and Sonny would get mad, we'd go at each other, and the marriage would be over. That sounds a little extreme. Yeah, well, to Sonny, it's not. One time, I hid the truth from him. I lied. <laughs> and it was for a good reason. But Sonny said it was betrayal, and the marriage was over. Okay, like Sonny has never lied? He's a gangster, isn't lying part of the job description? I know, but Sonny doesn't look at it like that. He doesn't understand that. He said he couldn't forgive me, and he filed for divorce. And after divorce number three, it gets really hard on the kids. Okay, all right, then, then here's a simple solution. Don't marry Sonny. I have to marry Sonny because he's going to go to prison if I don't marry him. Harley, if you know Sonny is bad for you, then don't do this to yourself. Just let Sonny solve his own legal problems. I have checked out every angle, Lulu, okay? I've even gone to Alexis. I have to marry Sonny, and I can. And you, you, okay, you can without falling into your old patterns? I'm just going to tell myself this is a marriage of convenience, okay? That I'm helping out the father of my children. I, that is going to be my new mantra. Carly, are you sure you can pull this off? I love Jax. I'm going to marry Jax as soon as all this is over. Carly's a... How come you're not dressed? I'm not changing, Sonny. It's a civil service, and I'm glad you're here early because we have to talk to the boys and make sure they understand what's going on. Yeah, yeah everything's going to be fine. Sonny, we need to make sure they know that, yes, we're getting married, but we're not getting back together, okay? Well, that's a pretty fine dis distinction to make for uh, a kid. Well, Morgan might not understand, but Michael will, unless someone misleads him. Come on, Cardi, what are you talking about? I don't want the boys to be hurting us, okay? You're just overthinking things, you know? You're making problems where they don't exist. Right. Boys! You guys get down here, Michael, Morgan, hey! Wait, hey, Sam, thank you! Hurry up. You can run, right? Come on. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Yes, sit on the couch. Father and I need to tell you something. 
Okay. Well, um, your father's having legal problems. Did you do something wrong? No, I didn't do. I didn't do anything. No, he didn't. But uh, some people are trying to say that he did, and they're trying to get me to say that he did. You wouldn't, right? No, I wouldn't. But if they get me to talk, they're going to twist my words and they're going to make your father look bad. So we're trying to come up with a way so I don't have to testify. What, what are you going to do? But, buddy, all the troubles, they're going to go away because your, your, your mother is going to marry me. Does Jax know? I'm still very much in love with Jax. And in the future, we will be getting married. But you're marrying Dad? Yes. It's a little complicated, Michael, but marriage is a legal contract. Between two people who love each other? Sometimes, yes. But I am doing it for the legal reasons to help out your father. And if you don't, Dad go to jail? No, nobody's going to jail. We're... All the trouble's going to go away because your, your mom's helped me out. Would you do this for any other guy? No. I mean, that uh, depends. On what? Look, you know, it's your father, and he's, um, he's your father, okay? And he's family, and we are doing this because we take care of each other, and we make sure nothing bad happens to each other. All right, you know what? We gotta go, because uh, the judges meet, meet us back at the house, so... Okay. No. We're doing this at the courthouse. It, it, it's already set up. It's the courthouse, or we don't get married at all. You know, the judge isn't going to wait all day. Sonny and Carly will be here soon. Why a sudden change of venue? I'm beginning to wonder if Sonny and Carly are going to go through with this at all. Sonny has to marry Carly. So I would stop Carly from testifying. You know, it is conceivable that I could coach Carly so that her testimony isn't as damning to uh, You know, I'm sure you could, but that's a risk because Rick is a good attorney and Carly talks before she thinks sometimes and, uh, and there's a possibility that Rick would trip her up on the stand. Yes, well, that's why Sonny feels that this is his only option. Once he and Carly are married, she'll have spousal privilege and she can't be forced to testify. All right, let's get this over with. Thank you, Judge Ramos, for doing this. I apologize for the last-minute change of location. It's just one of those things that come up. Uh, are these your witnesses? Yeah, that's Diane Miller, my attorney, as you know, and then this is my best friend, Jason Morgan. Well, let's get going, then, shall we? Okay. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Corinthos, yeah. please stand in front of me. Um, Nick, well, you want to... Go ahead, you can do it for you. What? We're clear. What? This is a marriage of convenience, right? Yeah, I got that. We will not. We will not consummate this marriage. We will not get our boys' hopes up. We will not freak out my mother because we're back together. We're not really together. This this is just a legal transaction, right? Yeah, absolutely. We're ready. <clears throat> we are gathered here to join this man and this woman in matrimony, which is an honorable state. Can we uh, just make it quick in this version? <clears throat> Michael Corinthos Jr., do you take this woman, Caroline Lee Corinthos, to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others? so long as you both shall live. I will. Caroline Lee Corinthos, do you take this man to be your husband? Will you love him? Don't let us set her up, Sorry. please. No, go ahead, go ahead. I did not invite them. Is there a problem? Yes, there's a problem. No, no, there. just go ahead. Continue, please. <clears throat> Caroline Lee Corinthos, do you take this man to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others? I can't do this.
next general hospital. What did you say to her? Perhaps she thinks I faked my pregnancy and my miscarriage. Cardi, Cardi, come on, please. Take my word on this. Cardi and I are going to get married today. I promise. What would Jason think if you saw that?